This is uh, the vintage lighted globe. And uh, some of the areas that I mentioned around the equator where uh, some of the uh, ink has been worn off. I can't get too close with the camera uh, or else it will go out of focus. Uh, predominantly uh, around the equator. It looks like someone may have put a piece of tape around the equator to line it up or something for some reason. Uh, here's one area here. Uh, another area. And basically it looks like some of the colored paper was torn off around these white spots directly above my fingers. And let's see if there's any more. Uh, in South America, move over here. From here to here is missing. And in the, uh, in the uh, Atlantic Ocean, uh, this area right here, there's three spots right here. This thing doesn't move too easily. Uh, let's see. Oh, and we're back where we started. While I'm here, I'll try to get it plugged in and uh, see if I can get the uh, light to work. Oops. Okay, well, a uh, little hole at the top where the axis runs through. The lamp is, uh, the bulb is lit. And you can see right through there as well at the bottom. Off and on. And now I'm going to turn off the light, the overhead light, to see if it even shows up. Well, actually it does, better than I thought. Much better than I thought. Uh, I'm not sure. It's probably a white light, a white light bulb inside there. For some reason, uh, the land masses come out reddish, just as you see uh, on the screen. I don't know why, but that's what it looks like uh, lit up. And I just noticed there's a hole right here for some reason. I have no idea why, but I just noticed that. Uh, right where my finger is moving out there in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean